day, Deadly Premonition fans! Now, if you aren't a Deadly Premonition fan and are new to this entire concept of the game, then you should most certainly be taking note. Deadly Premonition is now making its way in remastered form to the PlayStation 3. That's right. I I have the game right here. If you have not played this game whatsoever and you are a fan of the survival horror genre, then by all means, please play this game. I know that it's got shit tons of bad reviews, but the fact is, is it's one of those games, despite its flaws, is really, really fun. It is. It, it, wholeheartedly, I don't really give two shits what site is going to give something bad reviews. I don't care what they're going to say in a game magazine. The fact is, I want to be able to play it for myself. Deadly Premonition is one of those games I wasn't too sure about. It wasn't until my girlfriend went and picked it up and I was like, man, that game got butchered like a motherfucker, though. Is it really going to be any good? And sure enough, it turned out to be an A1 ace fucking gem of a game. It's just awesome. I mean, to begin with, number one, Deadly Premonition stars one of my favorite characters ever, and that's Agent York. And... His friend, Zack. Isn't that right, Zack? Yeah. Now, that's not going to make any sense unless you actually play the game. But anyhow, Zack is a very important character in it, by the way. But this game just reeks of awesomeness whenever it comes to the characters in general. And that's really the truth. And it's a survival horror game. Mind you, it's not scary by any stretch of imagination. I would be really, really surprised if somebody played this and was like, It was really scary. <laughs> I'd be like, Wow, you are a skitterish motherfucker. You shouldn't be going anywhere near something that is actually scary, like the Clock Tower games or Fatal Frame or like Doom 3 or some random shit like that. But anyway, this will be making its way to PS3, like I just said, in a remastered form. Uh, I was getting tongue-tied there for a sec. So it is coming in remastered form. What's it going to have? Extra story, new scenarios, and it's going to have PlayStation Move capabilities. How it's going to go and implement PlayStation Move, I have absolutely no clue, but I'm assuming maybe with the shooting mechanics, kind of like with uh, Resident Evil 4, maybe? That's what I'm trying to think of. I'm just hoping that it's not going to get really crazy with it, but it doesn't matter because I can still just use the DualShock 3, so what the fuck does it matter? But anyway, please check this game out, and if you are a PS3 owner, rejoice. It is going to be making its way. Um, they did not go and say a specific uh, like release date or anything like that. This was just announced at GDC, the maker of the game. He was going and talking about it, and I was like, huzzah, this is fucking awesome. But yeah, I thought it was extremely exciting to go talk about because this is one of my favorite Xbox 360 games. Yes, I shit you not, one of my all-time favorite Xbox 360 games is one of the worst reviewed ones, ironically, but it's so good. Anybody who's played this game could probably go and attest to what I'm saying. So, yes, I want to go and share that tidbit of news because it was an extremely big deal to somebody like me, especially being a big fan of survival horror games, as all of you know. Many of you who watch my channel are as well, so this is pretty awesome. And hopefully if the sales of this are really good, then uh, maybe we'll see a sequel, since many of us have been clamoring for such. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin. Ending this video, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on.